Hey everyone, this is Brendan. I am back with another video and I wanted to take a quick look at some GSAP Bricksforge. Um, you can see I've got a little bit of a tech stagger here. It's also on a scrub. There's some other text. So we're going to take a look at this today. This is actually uh, in reference to another video I saw uh, from this guy, Grid Rule. And he posted a way to use attributes from a GSAP uh, code library. There's a script here. You can do this without a plugin. You just need to put a, some text uh, into your website. There's a script here, and then you've got your various uh, animations here. You can see data split for character, word, and line. So we're going to take a look at that. And I thought this was a really cool video, so I wanted to kind of recreate. I saw some people talking in the comments about, like, use BricksForge. Use BricksForge. So I, I just thought I'd quickly throw this together see what I can accomplish here. Um, so let's take a look again at that's what it looks like. I'm fading up. Uh, it's a little different from the video, but I figured it's pretty close. So um, now if you don't know about BricksForge, I'll briefly mention uh, something about them. It's a really cool tool. Uh, Danielle is a really awesome developer, and uh, you should check it out. <laughs> it's really fun. Um, recently, they've, uh, you know, he's added so many features, it's really quite amazing. Uh, there's new pro forms, uh, which are very powerful form builders. You should check those out. There's some other videos on those. Um, but he also has this amazing documentation now, which is very helpful. I hadn't used BricksForge uh, that much in the past, um, just uh, busy with other stuff, but it's really come a long way, and he's uh, got some really nice documentation in here. So you can learn what all these different terms are, because you need to know what these are if you're going to do GSAP. And so anyway, that's you should check out the documentation. It's pretty extensive, might help you. It's also got links to the various uh, developer Mozilla, uh, you know, official HTML stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, so let's just take, let's just jump right in. It's, it's really not as complicated uh, as I once thought, I mean, to do basic stuff. So we're gonna do some basic stuff. Um, I've already got some scrolls set up here. So we're just gonna look at the uh, layouts. Um, we've got the yellow scroll, which is, uh, it's character, it's word staggering. So you can see the words are staying together, but they're coming in at different times. So what that looks like is you have to, um, Set this to scroll trigger and then find your selector. You can find that just by clicking this and then clicking on the element. And uh, then this won't be populated. You have to hit use trigger. And what you want to do is a from to. And what that is is you're animating from a position to another position. Okay, so the from is where the object starts. So it's starting 150 pixels down the y-axis, which is why it fades up. So you, you set that, you open your translate here, you, you set that to whatever you'd like. This is a new, also fairly new feature with BricksForge that there, you know, you can actually have a slider. You don't actually have to type in uh, down here if you don't want to. And you can also see your code right there too. So, so what we want to do is first uh, translate starting down the y-axis and then end we go to where it's going to, it's just going to go, we should probably just, I'm just going to set it to one, whatever. So it's going to go to just one pixel off the Y axis. So it's going from a position of negative 150 up to. Okay, the other thing that it's doing, it's starting, it's starting from an opacity of zero. So it's not visible. And then it's going to go to a opacity of one, so it becomes visible, okay? So the other thing that, you, that I have on here, you, there's various settings you can change. You come down here to use split text, okay? And you have characters, words, lines, so we have it on word. And we have a stagger, so that it, each word is staggered, okay? Um, that's just the basics of it. There's a, there's a lot more that you can do. Obviously, you see all these settings. Uh, which is very nice. You can actually know uh, what all the objects are that you can 
uh, animate, and uh, that's very nice. I like this addition uh, to Bricks Forge. Okay, so let's take a look at that again. Now we're starting as we scroll. The animation starts. The other thing to keep in mind is look where look where it is on the screen. The animation starts when the element hits the middle of the viewport. You can see there it starts and it ends. You can see here it's start the scrolling animation. This is what this means. Animation starts at the top. When sorry, when the element is at the top of the screen. Uh, when the element hits the top of the uh, viewport, it's going to animate. Okay. So uh, that's what these mean. So when the animate, when the element hits the bottom of the viewport, it's going to do that animation until it hits the center. Okay. So moving on, let's so let's take a look at what the other effect is right here. Uh, and it's kind of flying from the top. There's a blur, and it's got a bounce effect. Okay, so the pink scroll, come down here, we can open up, and we have that selector selected here. That matches here, and that matches here. And then we've got the from two, and we're starting uh, on the y-axis at negative 270, a nice round number. And uh, fortunately, my sometimes this doesn't work in here. Uh, so that's coming, uh, you know, from the top in in starting uh, up there, up, up in this area, coming down to where the actual line is. So it's dropping down. So it's coming down pretty dramatically, and then if we come down to the two animation, it's going to also set to the base level. Okay. Then if we look again at the scale, we have this is the typography scale it starts at a point two. That's why it looks really small when it first comes in here. You can sort of see that, and then it gets full size. Uh, in the two section, if we come down to scale, we have these set to one. Then there's also some opacity. It starts off zero, uh, zero, so it's not visible, just like the previous animation. And there's also a blur effect. Now again, just like in bricks, you can see the yellow dot there shows you what's edited. So I just picked an arbitrary number of 12. And then in the two section, zero for no blur. Okay, and we have it set to a longer duration, and we also have this bounce effect. That's what is causing that. But they hit the ground and sort of bounce up and slowly drop back. Now, again, I guess uh, it's probably worth mentioning some of these are a little over the top, but I just uh, wanted to show what they look like. Anyway, okay, moving on. So let's go to the green scroll. What do we have here? From the abyss, so it's I, I named it that way, so that it's coming up from the bottom, and a little bit over the side, and if you notice, each letter is staggered. Okay, so let's take a look at that green scroll. Again, it matches the brick selector. Okay, uh, that, and we got to translate so. This is why it's starting down. It's it's adding greater pixels on the X and on the Y axis. Okay, so that's why it is coming up and gradually decreasing as it, the animation's over. Okay, so translate and again that it's just going back to original state. We've got the opacity set to zero again. And that again makes it so that it starts invisible. And then we've got right the opacity set back to there. And that's that. And then the other thing that we have here is the split text is enabled and it's on the characters instead of the word. So that each character is split. 
Okay. So anyway, that I'm just going to keep it short and just show that uh, that is some pretty easy stuff you can do in Bricks, Brick Forge. And again, if you want to do it without a plugin, you can kind of check this out. I'm going to all leave this as well in the description. And uh, yeah, that's that's about it. Um, if you find better ways of doing that, I'd love to learn more about it. So anyway, take care, guys, and good luck. Don't forget to like and subscribe.